Their work is all over the recent Jackie Robinson film. Letterman was an early fan. At Ebbets Field Flannels, a shirt is not just a shirt. Everything here has a story, like the Hebrew Orphan Asylum just happened to have one of the better baseball fields in New York City in the 1930s and 40s. So they commemorate the place with a shirt. There's a joy to starting with an old black and white photograph from 60, 70 years ago and ending up with a real garment that people can actually wear. They pour over photos and film to create a jersey or a cap or a jacket just like it was originally made down to the thread. We have it made to order. It's a special blend. Most of what shows up in the shop goes from sheep to shirt all in the USA. The finishing touches happen in this Soto warehouse. It's uh, very much a throwback to the past. You don't see material of this quality or workmanship of this quality. So, you know, people really uh, appreciate that. They were early to the retro revolution starting in 1988. I started working out of our apartment on Capitol Hill. Native New Yorker Jerry Cohen named his new company after the classic home of the Brooklyn Dodgers. As with most good ideas, Ebbets Field flannels filled a need, at first just for Jerry. I was like playing in bands and I wanted to wear one of the old wool baseball jerseys but couldn't find one to my liking. He found some historic fabric in upstate New York and made a jersey. Friends went crazy for it. We're able to use a very contemporary machine, but we're still creating a vintage product. Three decades later, he's still reviving long forgotten teams with co-founder Lisa Cooper. So we used to be married. So how does that work? Sometimes good, sometimes not so mostly good. Mostly good, <laughs> mostly good. Mostly we, good. We, uh, we're really good at having uh, a mutual uh, understanding and commonality. We won't ask any more personal questions, but we're glad they work so well together to keep teams alive, some from the 1800s. Now we have multi-generations of customers, you know, granddad, dad, grandson, you know, um, they all appreciate it and, and some of the items have been handed down. It's history handed down, history we can wear. I really love that place, and they have, uh, they've been kind of branching out. They're doing football jerseys now and classic hockey sweaters like oh, this yeah. one. Look at that! Oh, this is the awesome. original Seattle Metropolitans, the first U.S. team to win the Stanley Cup. 